This is Zex, and you're watching Flight Gear Tips and Tricks. Uh, today I'm at Haneda International Airport, uh, RJTT, and I'm flying the Raleigh. All right. Today's episode, I'll be showing you how to adjust your seating position, and also how to permanently uh, keep it that way by uh, configuring your set.xml file. Let's go into the cockpit. All right, well, I guess this is my default view for now for the cockpit, and uh, it is terrible. It sucks. I can't see out of the windows. So, using your mouse, right click button, right click twice so that you get this panning cursor. Uh, press the middle mouse button, and you can go up, left, right, down, and so on. Uh, if you press control and middle mouse button simultaneously together you can go back or forward which is really cool so in this case uh, I'm going to see what my default view is right now this is centered I'm going to uh, press center uh, click again middle mouse button move myself to the left hand side of the cockpit and probably just scoot up a little bit more and probably just lower myself a little bit more and a little bit more forward and so on and let's see all right well that's it pretty simple huh so you right click your mouse twice and then you press the middle mouse button and uh, you can go left right up and down and also by pressing control simultaneously with the middle mouse button you can go forward and backwards that's the easy step but every time you restart fight gear you will always have the previous default settings in order to have it save your settings right now you'll have to go into your airplane files and configure some of those numbers there so how do I know what point of view I'm I have at this moment we need to know the X Y Z coordinates and to lo locate those to locate those things we go to the internal property so I press my F10 bring up my menu bar go to files to browse to internal properties or like I said before I love using the uh, backslash button shortcut scroll down to sim and then scroll down and select current view current view shows us uh, the current view as it states like the sorry <laughs> I kind of state the obvious sometimes all right so my field of view is 88 this is great for me because I have a 1920 by 1200 monitor so 88 uh, feels just right and okay heading offset degree is another important factor it's zero right now meaning that uh, I'm dead center uh, from left and right the other one is pitch offset which is uh, up and down and dead center would be zero let's go ahead and change that to zero and see what that looks like All right, so that would be zero. So I actually like zero, you know. I like to be centered. All right. So now here are the X, Y, Z coordinates. X offset M, Y offset M, and Z offset M. These are the numbers that you want to take note of. And uh, basically uh, use these new configuration uh, numbers and put them in your configuration set.xml file and then save it and you should be able to start flight gear using this position however if this is my current view I just kinda wanna pull back a little bit more yeah that seems better alright so let me get that let me uh, get my uh, desktop uh, camera uh, ready for you guys okie dokie I hope this works I'm actually recording using fraps uh, on desktop well I'm gonna go ahead and navigate and click on data then uh, select aircraft and then scroll down to the rally which is my airplane I'm flying currently in flight gear and then I'm gonna uh, click on rally set dot xml file once that opens up I'm going to uh, 
overlay it onto my FG screen using an application called Desk Pin, and I'll pin that up so I don't have to keep on pressing Alt Tab. Then I'm going to search for View, and uh, here we have uh, View, and the uh, view we want is a default view, as you can see in the FG part of the screen. The name of this current view is called Default. And so, uh, just to be on the safe side, we're on default default. And now we're going to change the uh, X offset M with the new coordinates from FG. And uh, let's see, I gotta scroll down a little bit because those numbers are way too big. Oh, yeah. All right, just making sure. And scroll down to the X offset, Y offset, and Z offset M. And uh, we're going to click on the X offset numbers. We're going to erase it and input 42062, uh, then go into the Y offset, 675, and then the Z offset, 133. And then the other other thing we have to change is the pitch. And I'm looking for it. I can't find it here. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, okay. It's on the uh, right side of the screen. Okay, there it is. And it says negative 7.23. And uh, ours is going to be 0. Pitch offset in degrees is 0. So we're going to change that to zero in our configuration file. We're then going to save the file. Now I'm going to close uh, the file. And then theoretically what you want to do after this is restart flight gear and uh, when your flight gear loads uh, you should be sitting in this exact same position all right. All right, and uh, thank you for watching uh, Zex Flight Gear Tips and Tricks. Uh, it was kind of long this time. If you have any questions, please uh, send me a message. I'd be more than happy to help you through. All right, have a good day, guys. Bye bye.